Do you know that you can solve a 3x3 puzzle cube with just two simple algorithms? Let's begin by learning two algorithms. These two algorithms are super easy and they are opposite to each other. Let's start with the right algorithm. We will focus on the right side of the puzzle cube and it goes like this. Left, up, right, down. The second algorithm is the left algorithm. This algorithm works on the opposite side of the first algorithm and it goes like this. Right, up, left, down. In total, there are seven simple steps in this method. The first step is to create a white cross. Throughout this whole tutorial, you will hold your puzzle cube with the yellow center facing up. Once you're ready, find an edge piece that has white on it. There are two typical cases. In the first case, the edge piece is facing the correct direction. All you need to do is to position it to match its center color and rotate it down. In the second case, the edge piece is facing the wrong direction. We can simply correct it by rotating the edge piece to the side, then rotate it down. Now the edge piece is facing the correct direction. Once completed, you will have a white cross at the bottom of your puzzle cube. In step 2, we will solve the first layer. First, we will find a corner piece with white on it. Then, move it to the corner where it is supposed to be. Next, position the white side of the corner piece to face towards you. If your white is on top, then you will have to repeat the same algorithm multiple times until your corner piece is on the top layer and the white is facing the side. For our case, our corner piece is on our right. So we will apply the right algorithm. Our corner piece is done. In step 3, we will solve the second layer of our puzzle cube. On the top layer, look for any edge piece that does not have yellow on it. Next, rotate the top layer to the side of your puzzle cube where the color of the center piece is similar to the edge piece. Now, the color on top of the edge piece will determine whether you will use the right or the left algorithm. For our case, the color on top of our edge piece is similar to the color of the center piece on the right. Therefore, we will use the right algorithm. Next, look for the white corner piece on the top layer. Position the white side of the corner piece to face towards you and apply the opposite algorithm. For our case, we will apply the left algorithm. This edge piece is done. If your edge piece is in the right location but wrong orientation, first do a right algorithm to move it up to the top layer. Then turn the cube so that the white side of the corner piece is facing towards you. Then do a left algorithm to put the corner piece back to the bottom layer. With that, you can go ahead and solve the edge piece that is now on the top layer. Once you have solved all your four edge pieces on the second layer, you are ready to proceed to step 4. In step 4, we will create the yellow cross. On the top layer, focus only on the center and the four edge pieces. There are three possible cases in this step. For the first case, you have a yellow dot. And to apply the algorithm, you can position your puzzle cube in any directions. For the second case, you have a yellow line. And to apply the algorithm, you will position the line horizontally. For both the yellow dot and line cases, you will have to repeat the same algorithm multiple times until you get the yellow cross. For the last case, we have a yellow hook that looks like this. To apply the algorithm, 
you position the two edge pieces pointing to the left and the back like so. Once your puzzle cube is in position, we are ready to apply the algorithm. First, turn the front clockwise, then apply the right algorithm. Lastly, turn the front anti-clockwise. Here it is, we have created the yellow cross. In step 5, we will complete the yellow top. If your puzzle cube has only one yellow corner, where the shape looks like a yellow fish, then point the tip of the fish to the bottom right, like so. If you do not have a yellow fish, then find a corner piece where you can position its yellow side to face the bottom right, like so. Next, we will apply the 3 y 3 move. What this means is you will apply the right algorithm 3 times, then rotate your whole puzzle cube on the y-axis, like so, then apply the left algorithm 3 times. Repeat this 3y3 move until your yellow top is soft. Our yellow top is done. In step 6, we will solve the top 4 corner pieces. On your top layer, find a side where you have similar colour on both the corner pieces. Then, position it to the back of your puzzle cube. If you do not have any side with similar colour on the top corner pieces, you can position your puzzle cube in any direction. Next, we will apply the up 2, down 3, up 1, down move. What it means is you will turn the left side up or down and in between do the right algorithm repeatedly according to the numbers. You will repeat this move until all your top 4 corner pieces are soft. With that, all our top 4 corner pieces are soft. In step 7, we will complete the whole puzzle cube. On the top layer, find a side where you have 2 corner pieces and the edge piece soft, like so. Then, position it to face towards you. If you do not have any side with the top layer soft, you can position your puzzle cube in any directions. Next, we will apply the 5-5-1-1 move. What this means is, you will apply the right algorithm 5 times, then the left algorithm 5 times, next, the right algorithm 1 time, and lastly, the left algorithm again 1 time. Repeat this move until the whole puzzle cube is soft. With that, our puzzle cube is soft.